Okay guys, sorry about that, Luca here, I'm back with another review, another album review. Oh, sorry about that. Today we're going to be reviewing Catfish and the Bottle Men, their first album, The Balcony. Now what I liked about this album is some of the songs were very in your face, very, just, just, edgy, very good guitars, good drums, and an all round a good song. Some of the songs in this album were not very good at all. I, I didn't, I didn't like, I just didn't like some of them. After listening it over and over again, I, I don't like the single, Cocoon, I just think it's shit. And I don't like Fallout. Um, Fallout's a very basic ballad that they could have really done, actually. And I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. If um, you're talking about that kind of that kind of a uh, consequence, but I, I love Twenty Six. Twenty Six is my favourite song on this album by far. That song for me was just a in your face kind of edgy indie song, which I loved, and I loved that about it. Now, Catfish and the Bottle Men. So basically, they made this album. They came straight into the scenes. They came straight into the chart with Cocoon, and a lot of people. A lot of people liked Cocoon, but um, I liked it when it first came out. I didn't like it. I, I, I didn't like it um, as soon as the album. I bought the album, and I, bought, I only bought the album recently, just before Christmas of 2015. Album came back. Uh, album came out in 2014, and I, I was a I was a massive fan of him. But lately, I've started to drift away from Catfish on the Bottom End because. Um, it's very repetitive, like, you could go watch another band that's exactly like them and go, oh yeah, their music is exactly like somebody else's, it's not original music, they're not, they're not making music like, for instance, Block Party does, you know, they're, they're making original music, there's no music like theirs. I still, I still like Catfish in the Bottom, and I still think it's a pretty good album, it's a pretty good debut, I wonder how they're going to follow this, are they going to go more indie, are they going to go more rocky, are they going to go more mellow now? I'm not particularly sure, but but some of these songs had a really good drumming in it, and I know that I've said that quite a lot, but it did. It, I think the drumming in this album is what kind of saved the album for me. I'm not a massive fan of Catfish in the Bottom End. Um, it's good, but I wouldn't go, oh yeah, fantastic album, 10 out of 10. It, I wouldn't. My favourite song on here is 26, uh, my least favourite song on here um, will be Tyrants, D didn't like Tyrants, so yeah, the, uh, all, um, the whole album review I give it a 7, a, a solid 7 out of 10, it's a solid album, it's not an amazing album, it's not one that you go, that album is absolutely brilliant, it's not, it's not that kind of album, it's a solid album, I rate it a solid 7 out of 10, which is a pretty good rating, but 7 out of 10, there you go, goodbye. <laughs>